Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am back with a little finish up project on this cover that we were making. And so I, I actually had some new ideas overnight. So I think we're going to try and get that uh, all finished up. But let's say hi and hugs first to Beverly, Lenny, Linnea, and Lorette. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments and everything. Okay, so I have definitely decided that um, this is going to be the front cover. This is going to be the back cover. So initially, I had thought about maybe putting a die cut over the top of this. But I think we're going to do that on the inside in kind of a different way. So let's... Let's get busy on that, which first thing we have to do is do a little collage um, on the inside pages. And I'm only going to go down as far as I'm going to put these black pockets on. I've already cut them. All I did was cut one this same size and then cut it in half. So I really only need to go. Let's just make a little mark so it kind of gives us an idea maybe like about right there okay so now we just we just have a little collaging to do so what might I like sort of in the middle there is there like a picture you know I had a I had a bee somewhere well I had a frog I have a frog I have a frog he's kind of cute let's do him where's our right here <laughs> Oh gosh, it's a it's a crazy day in my house today. Um, uh, we have our granddaughter here with her friend doing camp, and got up, and our granddaughter wasn't feeling well, so it's like, oh gosh, okay, you know, back to kind of parent mode. Okay, so we could put that there. I think I think we'll do that. Let's see, glue stick. We need our glue stick. So anyway, we're we're driving them home today. So that's that's the big thing on our agenda this afternoon. Once camp is done, but our granddaughter is up up in her bed. Her friend was her friend was okay. So I don't think it's anything we fed him. <laughs> it's like oh gosh. Okay, I think we'll just go there like that. Um. This maybe, nope. Hmm, not bad there. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. I kind of feel like, oh, it's only one piece, but it doesn't have to be super uh, busy, does it? Oh gosh, my looks like I already need a new glue page. Okay, yeah, that's actually really good. And it goes down past where we need it to. So, calling that good. All right, let's see. A little too big. I think this is going to be too big. Okay. Let's just, let's just see what we've got to work with. I do really like this one. Maybe we'll try and get that in there somewhere. So, hope your day's starting off well. It's just a little bit of a surprise with our granddaughter. Bless her little heart. She just, you know, some of it, what I think some of it is, is the heat, you know. But the smoke here is so bad, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It's just awful. And um, the gym where they are doesn't have air conditioning. Or if it does, it doesn't keep up. So they have to open the doors. And I just think it's kind of done her in. She's just not feeling very good. I, I think we're going to have to get rid of this. So, yeah. So, bummer. But what are you going to do? So... She's just laying low, bless her heart. I'm at the end of my glue stick. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I've got another one over there. Good. Okay, so I'm going to put this up here in this corner. 
ish. Maybe made it a little long, but I think it's okay. Oh my gosh, I do have I do have fun with these. I do. They are just really so much fun. Okay, I am going to use I think I'm gonna use this piece of blue right here. Could have done this corner too, but okay. So I am going to make you, I'm going to turn it to the side here so I can measure correctly. So yeah, my agenda today before taking the girls home is to work on this, obviously, and then I would like to do a Etsy video. I need to. I have people waiting. So a uh, little Etsy video, which of course would have aired well before this. And then, um, and then, ugh, uh, I think I might get back to the fairy journal. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. That is, it's not working for me anymore. Oops, sorry, I hit you. I, I mean, I hit my desk with the arm of my chair. I don't think I hit you. Let me make sure you're still, yeah, you're still good. <laughs> jeez, 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 jeez. Okay, so then this, go there, maybe. Is that too much red? No, I don't want that. I do kind of like that there, though. No, I think I want the little flowers up at the top. Okay. And then, um... Ooh, that is, like, the perfect size. Well, this plan's coming together today. Love it. I wanted to go ahead and do this prior to the Etsy video just because I had all the mess out. I didn't want to pick it all up and then have to pull it all out again. So that's that's my strategy. Okay. Um, I need some green or something. Look at this. And again, all of these digitals that I'm playing with here are from the Fat Hand Finds. Oops. The Fat Hand Finds on Etsy. And I think I uh, linked her below yesterday, so I'll do I'll do the same today. Just an eclectic mix of mix of digitals. So it's been kind of Fun. You know what I think I'm going to do here is, I think I'm just going to make one piece this size. So um, let's do this first. Let's get it down a little more manageable. And let's see, is that the right size? I think that's going to work that way which actually saves a little more of the paper. It's pretty bad when you're hoarding your, <laughs> your scraps. Oh, I want to save that one. Okay, so then this is going to go here. Oops. That's rather crooked. Let's line it up better over here. There, that's better. Okay, and then here will be our pocket on the inside. So we will work with that in a minute. We'll set it over here to dry and we'll do the last one. Um, do we have something we would like to have in the middle? Ooh, what about those plants? That might be nice. Mm, 
think I'm going to put that in my um, bin of put on the back things. Oh, I need to make a little mark so I know where I'm at. Down to about right there. There. Now we can tell where we're going. It's hard to get there when you don't know where you're going. That was pretty profound for early in the morning, wasn't it? It's hard to get there if you don't know where you're going. I definitely want to try another one of these with um, triangles, too, because a lot of you said, oh, I like the one with triangles best, and I really liked it, too. Oh, my goodness, look at that. That's perfect. Do we want it this way or this way? I think we want it this way. Um, so, yeah, I would like to try that again, too. Uh, but I have a lot of scraps from this project of the black cardstock, and I was thinking they would be a pretty good size for um, some small tags. And so I was thinking about using those in that way. Okay, that fit there. I think it will. Yes, and then I'm going to need an itty bitty little scrap. So my husband has just been in his element with these girls here for camp. He's just been cooking up a storm. He's been, you know, just loving it. So that's been really fun to watch. Let's see, maybe we'll that fit. Kind of does, doesn't it? That was not good here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, thinking I could do it by hand. I'm just going to squish that little guy in there. I like the color right there. So, yeah, he's... Last night he made spaghetti and meatballs and salad and garlic bread. And um, there was... Maybe I'll go kind of over on that. Okay, I have a plan. Um, and then there was banana cream pie for dessert, which I said, I said to Mike when Addie wasn't feeling well, do you think it was the banana cream pie? He said, no, I think it's the heat. It's not her tummy. She doesn't have a fever or anything, but just not doing well. Bless her heart. Okay, that well, might be a little wonky, but okay. Then what if we put like that right there? I think I'll turn it that way. Just trying to use up a few of the smaller scraps here. Okay. I think I'm going to kind of, I don't know. I think that's okay. Okay, and then I mean, that's about the perfect size, so but I don't need that much of it. I could probably rip it off right about here. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, what, what did we have the night before? Oh, the night before was the day I got home, so I didn't have, I mean, I had dinner, but we had pizza because we got here late and they had whatever they had earlier. Okay, so then maybe hmm, what color do I need down there? Yellow? Yeah. Yeah, let's do a yellow. Just a bit of yellow. And we need maybe about 
half of that or so. Okay, so we will have basically our backgrounds done. Now we can play a little bit with the pockets and stuff, but I think what I'll do first is, oh, how'd I have that? Um, I think what I'll do first is get the covers glued on because then, okay, get that out of the way. So then here's our pocket for this one. All right, I'm gonna keep all my scraps at hand because we'll be probably playing more with those. Okay, so now um, getting those those covers on and I'm thinking that I'll use I don't know I'm going back and forth between art glitter glue and stuff but you know I really I do think I may on the outside go ahead and um, mod podge over these anyway because I do want them to be tough okay so we're gonna do that where do I want my glue? I think I'll put my glue down here. Let me just take a minute and scribble out addresses so I can get rid of this. Okay. Probably should have done that from the beginning, huh? Okay, so... You know, I mean, it's really paper on paper, so. Um, and what I think I want to do is get as close to the edge as humanly possible. I am going to have the corners on it, which I have at the ready. So. And then when those squish, hopefully... Well, this corner I'm not exactly sure where to go so but especially on the packaging tape that's kind of slippery I want plenty of glue okay okay now I'm gonna have to put these kind of however I can get it on here properly so and you don't have a lot of time with art glitter glue, as you know, so. Oh gosh, that's, come this way, come this way. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Squish it down as well as I can. Oh, I think I got a pretty good do on that. Okay, good, good. All right, so where's my other one? Here it is. And then we'll go here. But we're gonna get ourselves all gluey first. Yeah, it's weird with the packing tape how slippery it is. And you just kind of feel like maybe the glue will just slide and won't adhere, but. Okay. Go ahead and put that pin in there now. And let's get this on there. Just want to make sure. I, I don't care if it's a little off on the spine side. I mean, that's that's fine. But I want to make sure it's right down to the edges on all four. And it looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it. 
that's so cute okay so that will be our cover so we're gonna set that aside to dry while we play a little bit with the inside covers so I think I want this on the front inside and what I was thinking was to grab the old basket o die cuts and what I'd like this I, I what I was thinking initially on the front here was I was thinking of cutting out one of these Tim Holtz I hope you can see that one of the Tim Holtz flowers and like putting it down here but that with the mosaic it's just too busy so that's when I thought well make yourself a black pocket and then um and then put it on the inside cover like that so that's what I want to do but I want to try a couple of colors I need to cut some more of these out I was wondering how um this one this one would be oh that's a tiny one how about this one Ooh, I like that. That pops off more. Okay, cool. All right, so that's what we're going to do on that one. We'll look at the, the other one in just a second. I'm throwing die cuts everywhere. Okay, so I do know that's not quite tall enough. Is this one at all taller? It's okay. I can just cut off a little bit of it. Yeah, it's just a teeny weeny bit too. Okay, I think this one's better. So I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Good, good, good. Don't you love it when you have an idea and it actually pans out? I love that. Love that. So. Yeah. Um. And the inside, I'm not as worried about, you know, like, I don't know, going over it with Mod Podge or anything. Because, you know, the inside's the inside. And it's not going to be hitting against things or anything like that. However, like I said, this this journal is not one you want to throw in your backpack if you want, the, want it to stay good. <laughs> you know, I think it's kind of have to. I mean, I do make um, a little something there. Um, I do make canvas covers, and those I feel like are, you know, throw in the backpack, have a little Edith Holden moment, and sit in the nature and sketch or write. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. A lot of, a lot of bits to kind of try and cover. Okay. So I just kind of want to put this in the middle, down to the bottom. And this die, what is this die called? It's a Tim Holtz, and I think it's something like Field Flowers or something like that. little bit of that glue okay 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 just had to cut off a bit of that now let me just make sure I got the because right there where you put things in and out could could be a weak point <laughs> okay and then I'm just going to do the three sides and put on the pocket And I have no idea what I want to put on the other pocket, the back pocket. So that remains to be seen. We'll have to dig through the die cuts a little. This is as far as I got. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do like that, though. That makes me happy. Okay. I'm just going to give it a little squishy, squishy. Okay, 
So that's going to be the front inside cover. Okay, so we'll set that aside to dry. Then this one. Now we just have to kind of look at what we have for die cuts. I kind of would like to do something different, but we'll just see what we have. I don't want those. I don't want any of these. I did think about, I might do something with those. So I'll leave those at the top. Um, don't want these. I kind of was looking over here. What nope. It's, it's, first of all, it's too big. Got some cool things, but they're too big. Okay, nothing over there. Um, have these little have these little worlds that are kind of cool. Not bad, but I don't know if that's it. I also kind of was thinking about like a corner thing. No, I like the world better than the corner, I think. Oh, all of a sudden I'm having a hot moment. Oh my gosh. I think we might have to break down and turn up the air conditioning. I am like, oh. ooh, hang on. It's going to be an eclectic journal, so I have to just remember that I don't have to be matchy-matchy unless I want to. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? And then, oops, just dropped it. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Sorry. Fumbly. I mean, I could put a couple of deer on there, too. I'm going to do it. That's fun. Okay. Just, yes, just, and because the inside of this, too, I just want it to be... All sorts of papers, all sorts of patterns, all that kind of stuff. So, okay, little dears, you sit up there for a second while we get your trees situated. I've got a little pokey outy here I need to do. Okay. So then, I mean, seriously, that is the exact right size. So, kind of meant to be. Okay, now it's just getting the glue on it. But I'll tell you what, the Art Glitter Glue Fine Tip is just glorious. It's a game changer. And people ask where they can get it. The set, oh shoot, there's another one. Um, the set that I have on my favorite things has the glue and the tip, so... I always just refer them over there. My favorite things being on my website, my little Amazon affiliates is what it's called. I don't think I need like every single branch. I just kind of need things in each spot to grab, I think. So we'll just, just go where we can go here. A little bit meditative doing this. Okay. More over here. All right. We'll see how that does. Okay. So I'm going to go down here because I've got glue on my book page. I 
I mean, the glue will dry clear. I just don't want blobs of it. It'll look like snow in the trees. <laughs> there we go. Okay, little dears, I kind of liked you over here. Try to be sure to get their antlers. Oh, look, we have actual antlers. Instead of our butterfly antlers. Every now and again, we have deer in our yard all the time. All the time. They love my flowers. Um, but it's just every once in a while we get one with big old antlers, and that's always kind of exciting. <laughs> you know, and when I got this die cut, I think it was sent to me. I was like, gosh, I just don't know if I'm going to, if I'm going to use that, you know, what I want you. Well, I think I want you closer to him. Yeah, that's good. Um, anyway, I was like, oh, I don't really... I mean, I have um, a project with some uh, outdoor-y, you know, woodsy type of a project that's sitting and waiting for me. So could have used it on that, but... Probably if I went on Etsy, I could find another, I suppose. Okay, that's on there. I need to make sure I keep the time because, okay, good. 30 minutes. Okay, because towards the end of this video, we are going to talk about a little, a little shh giveaway for 50,000 subscribers. And, um, oops, I mean, I'm going to need to put the pocket on. I got all excited and forgot. Um, anyway, I wanted to do it at the end of a, oopsie, end of a regular video because, um, you know, I don't want those people that look for giveaways to enter. I want my viewers to enter. So I'm not going to have anything in the description or anything or what no I will have something in the description I won't have anything in the title because I don't want to draw those folks in and so anyway I'll talk to you about that in a second oh my silly phone I was getting a spam call sorry it was buzzing on my watch did I not put on us on airplane mode I must have because it didn't ring did it Okay, good, but it was on my phone, or on my watch. Okay, well, I am quite tickled with that. I think that's real fun. All right, so let's put those in. This should be dry, and it feels, it feels good. I've got a little corner here that might need a little. I was kind of uh, a little concerned about that, too, on the washi tape, you know, how it was going to stick. This one did. I just apparently... Didn't get quite enough glue on that one. Okay, so inside cover. We are going to put this here, like so. So let's do that. Let's see how far over do you come? Pretty, pretty far over. Okay. Um. Anyway, oh, stop it. Scam likely. Don't you just get so tired of that? It's just like, does anybody ever answer scam likely calls is my question. It's like, stop, stop it. Stop calling. Somebody must answer them because they keep doing it all the time. Annoying. But, um, anyways. Anyways, so we'll be, we'll be chatting about that here. 
in a few minutes. We'll get, we'll get this going. Keep it going. Yeah, so half an hour. I think I, sh I think I should be able to get this done. Hoping. There we go. Okay. So, well, now that I've said something, I suppose I could just tell you what I'm thinking for a little giveaway. So, first of all, thank you all so much. 50,000. That blows my mind. It seriously does. It's just like, oh my goodness. Um, so, I mean, I remember when I first started, I was like, well, if all my family subscribed, <laughs> I'd have this many. And, oh gosh, my hands are all gluey. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's, it's been a blessing in my life for sure, this channel and, um, to have made such incredible friends all over the world. It's just like, I, I know, I mean, who would have thought? So anyway, so thank you. That's the first thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then, um. And then what I thought was, here's what I thought for the giveaway. You know, a couple of years ago, I quit taking custom orders because, well, quite frankly, I got overwhelmed. I had a list of like 20 journals and it was just like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get these done. And I wasn't able to then do projects like this that just like kind of came up and got me all excited and everything. So I quit, quit accepting. I feel like this is a little long. I might have to trim that at the top, but we need to make sure the bottom is good. Um, quit accepting custom orders. So I thought for the 50th or 50,000 subscriber giveaway, what I would do is, um, is do a custom journal for whoever wins. So, um, so what, what we're, what the requirements are going to be is obviously to be subscribed and, um, then, I mean, I'd love it if you liked the video, that's always good. But, uh, then, um, in the comments, leave, if you win, leave kind of like if there's a theme you want. If there's a type of journal, for instance. So let's talk about those two things a little bit. Um, I get glue all over me. Ugh. Um, let's talk about those two things a little bit. So as far as themes go, um, what I'm talking about there is... Let me just tell you some things I have over there that I could just, that I could put together. Um, and that would be like a, a cooking journal, a sewing journal, a bee journal, a farm journal. Um, I have a cof uh, coffee, I've been collecting things for a coffee journal, um, a fall journal. I'm kind of looking over there, an oriental journal. Um, uh, the outdoorsy one that I was talking about, you know, relating to this. Um, so let's see, what else do I have? Uh, I don't know if I have a boho, uh, cover, but I maybe could figure something out, but, um, oops, gotta get this little guy down. Um, so things like, things like that, you know, would be a theme. Then types of journals, um, you know, there's my, my usual one signature journal, uh, with, you know, like with a fabric cover or a paper cover or whatever. Um, there's this one that's probably going to be, probably going to be three signatures for this one. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna need to need to trim that. 
I don't know that I am going to need to trim that. Okay, so there's our inside. Isn't that fun? <laughs> that's so fun. Um, do you want an eclectic journal like this? That's, you know, all sorts of different papers and, and ideas. And that, that will be quickest for me to put together because I have so much ephemera made ahead and not that kind of stuff. So there's that. Okay. Um, whilst we're chatting, let's put on the covers or the, the corners maybe, huh? Um, uh, so with the corners quick, like we're going to, we're going to use Fabri-Tac and I need my needle nose pliers as well. Uh, but as far as types of journals, so the, like this one, the three signature, the, um, one signature, the five ring binder, five ring binders. I think I have, I have cookbook. I'm pretty sure I have sewing. I think I have an interior decorating. I also may have, I'm pretty sure I have a handyman. So I could put one of those together for you. Or, um, let's see. I haven't, I haven't done a, um, a uh, 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 little golden book journal forever. I have, you know, so it <laughs> might take me a minute to get back in mode with that, but I could sure do one of those. Um, what other type? The, the type like I'm doing my um, fairy whispers journal, you know, the, the uh, cardboard cover type one could do that um and i've got got lots of papers i do have blue fern most of the collections i think i could i have enough to do one of those journals like bird waltz and jane austen and um and stuff so i could probably do one of those um, and then, you know, and then I have all the Michelle Singh collections there too. So I think, or I could do a Tim Holtz one, you know, a more kind of masculine or industrial. See how fun that is with the corners. Yes. I, I chose silver. There's silver, um, kind of a antique gold and copper. And I, I liked the silver with the black. So that's why I chose that. Um, so in the comments below, oh, the other thing is you have to be 18 on YouTube to, to win. So you have to be 18 or older is the other, um, which most of my viewership is. So um, anyway, in the comments, just to please put, if you win, the theme and the type of journal you would like. And then we'll just see what I can come up with. Maybe, maybe as far as a theme, you want a color. Like I have a, um, I'm starting, I've been gathering things for a purple journal. Maybe you want a purple journal. Or maybe you want a shabby chic pink journal. Um, so just whatever you would like, we will just do. How does that sound? So that is that is my idea for my 50,000 subby giveaway. I think it'll be fun just to just to do something that you would like. So that is what I have to say about that. <laughs> so I'll I'll put it I I think if I put it in the um description box but don't put it in the title, I think I'll be safe. Okay, so now we've got 15 minutes left, don't we? Okay, I can see where I'm at. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and already put the closure on this. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put one of these little Tim Holtz hitch posts here, put a eyelet back here, and then um, we will be able to thread some ribbon or something and tie this. So that's... 
That's my plan for that. We're going to need our crop it aisle, aren't we? So, yeah. So, the other thing is I will have in the description box the end date. Um, let's see. This, I believe, is airing on Sunday. So, maybe, you know, I'll give like a week or something for the, uh, for you to get in your, get in your entries into the, um, into the comments. Okay. So this is nine, right? No, eight and eight and a half. So maybe four and a quarter ish we would like to go here. I'm just going to mark this, I think. Okay, so four and a quarter ish is right about here. Okay, and on this side, four and a quarter from the bottom is right about here. Okay, so we're going to use our three sixteenths side. And punch a hole. This could be could be tricky. It's thick with the cardboard and stuff. Let me get it out where you can see. I don't I don't need to see. Oh yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Okay, there's that one. And then where's my one over here? My eyeballs are. Oh, there it is. I needed to get it so I could see the shine. Sorry. Okay. Have my last one in there and I can't see. Okay, so here's this one. This one's a little more a little tricky. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the eyelet in this side in the back. Boom, pile it in, perfect. Okay, and then the Tim Holtz hitch post, you pop the screw up this way, and then you just screw on the hitch, hitch post until you get it down and tight to your cover. There we go. Look at that, we did it, we did our um, mosaic cover. Super excited about that. It's really, really fun. So, um, so yeah, if it, I don't have plans for this journal, so uh, in terms of anything, it'll go in my Etsy when I get it done. But if you want it, that's fine. Whatever, whatever you would like, I will make you. Now, when I when I sew this in, I may like put some lace over the signatures. I may do that, or w when I sew it in, I could do a hidden spine too here, so that um, so that this stays as it is, which I really kind of like it as it is. Okay, let's think about now. I think I am going to kind of go over it a bit with some Mod Podge. So. Um, Talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to grab a little tray. And a tray and a paper and a drop paper just so that I don't make a mess of my desk, which definitely can happen. Okay, so um, so this stuff is called Deco Magic premium decoupage glue. I got it in a kit from Mixed Media Minnesota on Etsy, and um, I've just kind of been trying to use it up. So we're just going to use a little bit of this and see how that goes. I'm just going to put pour some in the tray. Um, I have used it right out of the bottle too, and that works pretty well too. So I'm just going to coat this just just give it one more layer of strength. I mean, probably I should have done this before I got the corners on, but it doesn't matter. 
just going to just give it a little coating because just being the outside of the book. So anyway, I hope that giveaway sounds good to you guys. I thought, um, I thought, what do I normally not do? And I thought, well, it's been, actually, it's probably been three years since I quit taking custom orders. I mean, that was so fun in some ways because I got to know the people who ordered journals from me because of, you know, kind of talking back and forth about what we were doing or whatever. And um, so that part of it was fun, but it just, it got very stressful. Um, because when I have a list, I'm just that kind of person. When I have a list, I need to get it done. And so, um, and I always thought, you know, this is such a dumb thought, but um, I thought when I was like driving back and forth to my kids or something, I thought, what if something happens to me? And this, this gal is expecting this journal and, and I won't be able to do it because I won't be here. <laughs> You know, I don't know. It just was stressful for me. So I, I gave that part up and just thought I'll just, I'll just go ahead and um, list things on my Etsy's when I have them done. And it's worked out really great. But I do think, you know, doing custom journals when you're first starting out is a, is a good way to, you know, be able to sell your journals too. Um if you don't have somebody promoting your, your Etsy for you. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, um, it was good for the time, but then needed to, needed to stop doing it. And then I thought, oh, that would be fun just to, just to take one, just to do one for it, for this. So this is a silicone brush. I do have sets of these on my favorite things, but um, you can also get them at the dollar store. So, um, but they are really nice for decoupage because really you just, and once you're done, you just end up wiping them off with a wet one or a wet rag and you're good to go. Okay, yes, I think this was a good decision because I think this will just give it that one more little bit of strength and stuff. I'm trying to go very smoothly to not have any chunks, but yeah. So we'll just do this back one. And then this cover is Dunzo. Just get a little of that off of there. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm glad to have finally shared that too, because it's been on my mind, obviously. But I I hit the fifty thousand right around the time we were going on our little trip to Denver to see my daughters. So I didn't want to do anything then, but. So oh, that'll be good. Wow. It's still, it really does. It just blows my mind. But I mean, crazy enough, there's people out there like, oh, I don't know. Joanna, uh, or no, not Joanna. Johanna Clow. She's got like 200,000 subscribers. So, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. I always say to my in-law kids, can you believe anyone would want to listen to your mother-in-law for an hour? <laughs> like, well, let's see. That's a loaded question, mom. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. The answer is, of course they would. <laughs> oh, I have the best in-law kids. They're just the best. 
just, you know, just like your own because they come into your lives and they bring you grandbabies and they they love your child and oh, they're just the best. So haven't heard anything on my daughter yet as far as little Mr. Leaf coming into the world, but she has a doctor's appointment today. So I'm expecting a bit of an update so that we can, oopsie, so that we can see where, is, where things are at. Because she's definitely been showing some signs that he could be coming soon. So, yeah, that's another number that astounds me, 11 grandbabies. That's just like, holy cow. But four kids, you know, so I guess it was, they were, they were bound to do this. Okay, so let's get a wet, wet one. And we'll just get this kind of, wipe that off so the, so the lid doesn't stick. And this is, um, this is a mat, so... I mean, it's going to be a little shiny, but not, not super, super shiny. Okay, so the silicone brush, see, you can just wipe it off with a, a wet one or a wet towel or something, and it's good to go for the next time. I absolutely love it. Okay, we did that. Oh, I'm so happy that my little project... That I had in my head turned out like I wanted it to. So there we go. That just has to dry a bit. It's a little bit it, it, right there. It's kind of poking up a little bit. That was a concern, but it's okay. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Did that. Let's see. And you've been able to see that well, haven't you? So, and there is our inside with the pockets. Yes cover ready ready for journal pages okay so that is done where are we at time wise oh we are perfect so thank you everybody so much for watching be sure and leave your comment below with the with the theme you want and the type of journal you would like to see um if if for some reason they kind of don't mesh, I don't have the stuff that I would need or whatever, um, I will just, you know, communicate back and forth with the winner at, you know, at that time. But yeah, so just put your, put your theme, put your type and we'll, we'll go from there. If you have a favorite digital artist you want me to use, we could do that. So there's all manner of things that we can do, but so, so just just let me know. And thank you again so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Because if you're hanging out with me every day, I'd like to know you're an official member of the family. <laughs> so thanks, everybody. Have a grateful day. And we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.